Hello everyone and welcome to this video with Python tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the mouse over gestures. So let's begin. Mouse over gestures are very much common in the web applications. So for this particular tutorial, let me take an example of this demo website. So let me copy the URL and let me open this into the browser here and let me show you. So basically if I go over here, you see I'm not clicking, I'm just going, I'm just hovering over this one and these options available. Right? If I don't hover over there and try to click on this one, I will get an exception here. So in order to click on this one, I need to hover on this particular switch too. Then I can go here. Okay. And if I don't hover then and try directly to go with this one, as I said, we'll get an exception. Okay. So let's handle this thing. In the Selenium with Python. So let me go to the PyCharm here and let me create a new Python file. I'm naming it as handling mouse over. And the first thing is that we need a driver here. So for that, I will be writing browser equals to web driver dot Chrome and let's import this web driver. Once I have this one, I need to maximize this one. So browser dot maximize window. And now I need to pass the URL. So simply browser dot get and inside this I need to pass the URL. But as the best practice is that I will be creating a variable and inside that variable, I will be having the URL so that I don't need to pass the URL here directly. Okay. So let me create a one variable called as URL. And here I will have the URL. Okay. So let me go here and let me copy the URL. And let me go back here and provide the URL. Now, instead of passing this complete value here, I simply pass this variable. Okay. And now let's run this one and see what happens. So I should open the Chrome browser, maximize the window and open the URL, right? And that's good. We are good to go. Now, if I go to the application here and if I go here and let me inspect this frames here. Okay. And let me go with the selector hub. And here, the beauty of selector hub is that this selector hub is actually telling you that this element is not interactable through Selenium as it is not visible in the UI, right? So if I try to click on this one, we will get an exception that this element is not interactable, though it is present, but it is not interactable because it is not visible, okay? But let me copy this one and let me go to PyCharm here and let me write code to find this one. Find element my dot my dot x path and let's import the by here and let's be provide the x path here and now simply I will click on this one okay and let's run this one this should not work because the element is not visible element is not interactable and we will get some error here and see the exception here so the exception is element not interactable exception element is not interactable though the element is present but it's, it is not interactable. Now, how we can solve? Because we know that this is the element which comes when we hover on the switch to, right? Now, what I know is that this all can be done. This hover, mouse hover is basically a mouse gesture. This is an action. So, in Selenium, this can be done using the action change class. Let me go to the browser here and let me show you. You need to search for Selenium. 
Selenium Python Action Genes. And this is a link, click on this one. And here you see that the Action Chains implementation. Action Chains are a way to automate low level interactions such as mouse movements, mouse buttons, key press, context menu interactions. So again, the Hoover is basically a mouse movement, right? And this is a class. And in order to use this class, simply what we need to do is that we need to create an object and we need to pass a driver. And after passing this one, I can actually using or, you know, different options available, different methods available, like move to element, dot click, dot perform. We can learn these things. Okay. But the idea is that we need to create the action objects, action gene objects. Then I can actually use the properties and other features of this particular class. Okay. Now, uh, let me copy this line of code from here and let me go to the Python here and here now we need to import the action chains and the name of our driver variable is basically a browser here I need to pass here and now we are good to go to use this one okay so the first thing is that I need to tell the web driver on which element I need to hover. So if I go to this example here and if I show you, so basically I need to hover to this switch to, okay. So I need a locator of this one and this is a letter x bar. Let me copy this one. Let me go back here and I will say this is my hover underscore element and it's basically browser dot find element is not element and here we say by dot x path so by dot x path dot x path and paste the x path which we copied and that's it and now uh, what we need to do is that as we have already created an object for this action change so using that one now we will hover this one so simply I will say actions okay dot actions actions dot you see that now we are getting different methods here so we have a method known as move to element okay move to element and here what we need to do is that we need to provide the element on which we need to hover so this is the element which we have identified and we need to pass this one here and once you hover on this one basically you're moving but you're not performing this hover action so in order to perform this one you need to use a method which is known as dot perform and what i'll do is that let me put some time sleep here so that we can see the executions so let me copy this one and paste it after this one here okay now we are good to go and let's run this one and see what happens so it should open and it should hover and then it should click on the frame so you will see this execution you see that it hover on the switch to then frame and now we are inside this frame page right so that's how uh, you can actually handle you know the the hoovers thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial